good day good Friday I know I haven't put up a video in about I don't know 10 days maybe a little bit longer maybe 15 days well I'll tell you in a second but before that how about a big thumbs up like this video subscribe hit that notification bell all that good YouTube stuff so why I haven't posted in about 10 or 15 days I can't remember the last one I posted is um well, I had a little dust up with an automobile. Nope, not on the motorcycle. I was out taking my morning walk. And me and my doggy got hit by a car. Well, first things first, yeah, the doggy took a tumble. She went head over heels about 25 feet down the street. But she came out just fine. She's, you know, little bumps and bruises here and there. And, uh... Her nose looked like she sniffed the belt sander, but otherwise she is fine. She was back to her normal self in a day or two. And um, yesterday, no, Wednesday being Thursday, Wednesday this past week, today is Friday, yeah, so Wednesday this past week, my doctor gave me the clearance to get back on the motorcycle, but only for a short time, he said if, uh, my neck on my back started to hurt. He said, call it a day and go home. Well, I'm, I'm keeping it local. I'm not going to go very far just to test out the waters. I, um, I uh, strained my back and I got a pretty good case of whiplash and, you know, doing the ice every half hour on the half hour and, uh, you know, try to get over that whiplash so that's that so I figured I'd go out head out I um I was told of a new local Holly mechanic that has um, been doing very good work and comes highly raved from the CMA the Christian Motorcycle Association he comes highly recommended by a lot of those guys there so I am on my way over to his place right now to talk to him to see about doing some uh, I'm going to need some maintenance coming up on uh, the bike soon otherwise known as cashmere so I got the uh, oil change coming up transmission change coming up and primary coming up so we'll go over there and we'll talk to him and uh, see how his prices are I also want to change these bars out these bars I do not like them they, they're great for cruising don't get me wrong they are absolutely positively perfect for the interstate and cruising but for uh, the type of riding I like to do, you know, the um, sport bike riding, I guess you would call it, you know, getting sportier, they are not good. They're absolutely terrible. And um, slow um, parking lot maneuvering, they're absolutely wretched for so slow speed. We're at slow speed maneuvering. They're horrible. So I figured, uh, change them out. I, uh, I found a company on the interwebs that uh, makes the type of um, handlebar setup I want for a third of the price of uh, what you can get here in America. So I'll try out a Chinese company. Why not? I bought some other stuff from. Chinese company for this bike and it's um, all working out perfect I'll do my smidgety here smidgety is when there's traffic coming out left on your right hand side you just kind of rock the bike back and forth and that's uh, to let them know that I have no idea what I'm doing and you should stay put and what smidgety stands for is sorry mate I did not see you because hey you know that's what motorists say when they pull out in front of us and uh, kill us Oh, sorry, didn't see you. Yeah. And getting back to getting hit by the car on, uh, well, I won't even mention the day because I really don't want to 
give too much information out, but uh, well, that's what the guy said. Man, sorry, didn't see you walking. Lucky I was uh, walking the correct way. According, I was walking in the roadway according to the way the law requires you to walk in the roadway, and uh, he still didn't see me. So, in a hurry to get to his, uh, well, not even gonna say that way, but where he's going to hurry to because that will give away too much more information. But anyways. Yeah. So, that's that. I'm still a little sore. I've had the helmet on now for about 15 minutes and I can I can tell I'm wearing a helmet. Because when you've ridden a motorcycle for any length of time and you wear all the gear like I do, it, it becomes second to you and, you know, you put it on, you don't even think about it. You don't even feel it on you. And uh, today I can feel the helmet. So, eh. I guess the doctor knew what was going to happen, but I told him I was like a junkie Jones and for our fix I needed to get out there and ride so he told me to uh, you know go out stay local yeah see the way these people can I don't know can you see them they just climb right up your ass that pisses me off Well, it's a glorious day. It's 82 degrees. It's absolutely beautiful out. I wish I could go for a nice long ride. I would have been out a lot earlier, but I was waiting for a phone call and uh, I got my phone call and now I'm going to go out and I'm going to take probably about a 25, maybe 25, 30 mile ride. guy off my backside I hate people that just ride right up on you oh yeah look at that typical Manatee County traffic honestly traffic around here has been so bad I mean literally so bad that people are leaving their house at 6 6 30 in the morning for doctor's appointments at 8 a.m. and 8 30 that at 10 and 15 miles away yeah seriously that bad and that's been going on for well over a month now good old county planning to just build 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 i did a video over a year ago about how much the building is going on around here and they've just improved another hundred thousand homes in the eastern portion of the county number one I don't know where all the water is coming from because we go into a water restriction right around the middle of May not enough electricity to go around I'm gonna be taking this train here Speed limit's 45, we'll go 45. I'm not going to stay on too long because, um, because why? Well, I don't want to dox this guy, so that wouldn't be cool. And I um, think I already went by him's house. Haha, <laughs> how about that? not cool 
I thought it was way down here. I'm gonna have to um, do the old GPS thing again. I wasn't paying attention. So I will find this house. So on you guys sit tight and I'll be back in a bit. Alright, so I went and I had a good hour-long conversation with this uh Holly Davidson mechanic. He uh worked for a couple of Holly dealerships and uh worked for a couple of independent shops and decided he was tired of working under everybody else's thumb and wanted his um, own hours I guess I forget that portion of the story because um, as I've mentioned in all my previous videos my brain is absolutely mush so I'll remember it at some day <laughs> but anywho that's that uh, he seems like an honest guy I'm definitely going to give him my uh, work when it comes time to swap out these handlebars, these um, labor rate is absolutely phenomenal. And I mean, you, you really can't complain about his labor rate. So I commend the man for branching out on his own. And he's full sure about the only thing he can't do is dyno tuning. And I'm pretty uh, much all set with the dyno tuning. I don't have to worry about that. So, I have idiots abound over here. Yeah, I am glad he didn't try to kill me. So, yeah. I was, uh, I'm very pleased with him. Very nice guy. So, yeah, he'll have a customer. I um I do have a um, I'm going to need a full service in well uh, 700 miles I'm gonna need a full service so I'll let him do that business do my full service um, that's engine oil trans oil and primary case oil mm, tape I don't like tape. Well, yeah. Other than that, um, I was standing around for an hour, and granted, I didn't have my helmet on or anything, but standing, standing did bother my back slightly. But then again, I also wear in heavy boots, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it or not. But yeah, I'll complain about it. But right now, I feel pretty good. I got on the motorcycle and. Uh, Felt pretty good. That road must be the secret lunch meeting place. Where that road comes from, I don't know. Carter Road, I'm gonna have to look at that on Google Map. So yeah, that's my story. I think I'll keep this video short and sweet, as I said in the beginning. Um, Despite by despite being hit by a car, uh, was it 10, 10 days ago, 12 days ago? I don't know. I forget the date. I um I feel pretty good. I mean, like I said, I got the whiplash. My back hurts a little bit. I um I, you know I uh, threw my left arm down to in a blocking position like you would if you you know gonna tackle somebody or you know, take a blow. And I, I threw that arm down to block and. You know and rolled up on the hood and over the side and the dog went you know took a shot and went down the street so like I said she's okay 
I am more or less okay. I mean, whiplash is not a fun thing to deal with. Neither is the back. And but as I was saying about my shoulder, uh, the doctor took what I said a, um, a, a, a pointer, a shoulder pointer. It's when you compress your your arm bone, whatever it is, up into the the shoulder joint. And you give it that shock. So. So yeah. That, that was that and uh, there wasn't much I could do to avoid it he was flying and I round the corner and I had nowhere to go it caught me off guard so could have been worse and by the grace of God he let me survive to tell the story another day and I really can't elaborate on it too much and if you have a half a functioning brain cell in your head you'll understand why I can't elaborate on it and I probably never will elaborate on it so that's that I uh, pretty sure I've babbled on long enough and um, I don't know I think I will call this video a video and um, And as usual, you know, give me a big thumbs up, peace, and God bless. Oh yeah, one more side note before I go. I talked to this former Holly mechanic and uh, he said that, you know, he was working for Holly Davidson back in 2016 when this is this bike was in the dealerships not this particular bike but these are uh, Rushmore edition bikes and I asked him about the skull airbrushing and the graphics on it and he said Harley Davidson did not offer anything like that the paint he said the the, the paint is Harley Davidson he said but as far as the skull airbrushing and the uh, graphic striping he said no he goes somebody spent a lot of money on doing that so <coughs> somebody spent a lot of money on paints as an airbrushing and having those graphic stripes put in there and they spent a lot of money on this motor only to have it bank repoed <laughs> well I'm not I'm not laughing at them it's just that I mean Sometimes you need to get your priorities in line before you go out and spend a small fortune on toys because let's face it, motorcycles, it's a toy. Hey, some cattle. Never seen cattle there before. All right, well, I'm on my way home to have some lunch. Um, I got to figure out my clock because it's actually 1.20, not 12.20. I'll figure my clock out when I get home. and. Um, once again, as usual, big thumbs up, peace, and God bless.